What is up, people of Earth and beyond, Case Owners here, and today we have a brand new Madden Online 25 gameplay commentary for you. And yes, you guys see it, for the first time in months, I am bringing you an online gameplay. I've been playing less of Mutt and more of online, but here's the catch with this gameplay. I played this game, either my second or third game online, Madden 25 on the PS3. I had it recorded, I got it edited within like a day. And I just never went around to doing a gameplay, I mean, gameplay, never got around to doing a commentary about it. So I'm looking through my hard drive, being like, you know what, let's upload an online gameplay for, for the first time in, like, forever. I'm looking around, and I see this Chargers gameplay. I'm like, yo, I love my Chargers, maybe I can uh, put up some gameplay on them. So I went to go and edit it, and I saw it was already edited. I'm like, whoa, when did I do that? So I must have done that, like, early, early, and I just never got around to... Uh, just posting it because I guess I got into Mutt and I just didn't go back on that online gameplay. So this game was recorded months, months, months ago when the game first got out. I'm just getting around to uploading it because I didn't even know that it was edited. So he chose to play it in the rain and this was when the game first came out so I thought this was a pretty even matchup. Obviously looking back at it now, he has a way better team but at the moment, Chargers and Panthers both weren't so good last year, both had some big problems so I saw it as a pretty even matchup here. But um, you know, I, I love my Chargers because they got Antonio Gates, uh, Vi Keenan Allen, Denario Alexander, and then of course the Carolina Panthers have like D'Angelo Williams, Cam Newton, Steve Smith, Greg Olson. Both teams are pretty solid on offense. And in the beginning of Madden 25, both of their defenses were iffy. Uh, the Chargers' defense is still you know bad, but the Carolina Panthers' defense is still is very very improved. So enough about the teams. Let's get into the gameplay. Get off to a nice seven to nothing lead. And he's standing in the pocket with Cam Newton trying to find somebody. He gets forced out of the pocket, and he does not complete the pass. I batted it down, but he was a pass the line of scrimmage, which means it is an invalid pass or whatever. And it will he will lose it down and go back five yards, I believe. So third and 23 now. He finds, oh my gosh, he finds David Geddes, I believe, <sighs> across the middle of the field. How do I let up a fourth and 20, third and 23? Uh, you know, bad defense play calling by me, all I can say, I can't blame it on the team, that was just bad play call, should have had somebody there, I should have used it myself, I just didn't, so, um, yeah, you can really see how old this gameplay is by Cam Newton's accuracy right there, in the beginning of the game, he was like an 88, 85 overall guy, because he didn't have a great year last year, so his accuracy wasn't too good, but obviously now it's a lot improved, it's very, very improved, because he's improved over the year, but he does not get in on fourth down, I smack his receiver to get the ball out, so I get a possession, so, uh, I get the possession, <laughs> I get the I get the possession of the ball again. I'm trying to get the screen started, but Danny Woodhead does not let go of the block to like 10 minutes after I do the play. So I wait a really long time to throw it to him, and I do, and I get to fourth and one, and then I hand it off to Leron McLean, who will get the first down and move the chains. I give it off to Vincent Brown on a slant route, and he is going to the crib on a very, very long touchdown pass. Started off as a little as a little slant. I believe he blitzed, and there was no secondary help, so I just run in there with Vincent Brown uh, to get a to get to a 14 to nothing lead. Very, very good start for me. I've stopped him, and uh, I have scored twice myself. But right there is an awful defensive play call. But I do get bailed out by the big hit, Eric Weddle, the best player on um, the Chargers defense, either him or um, either him or uh, Donald Brown. I think Donald Butler. Butler, sorry, and. We get another possession back. My team is really coming to play today. I stop him on fourth down, and then we got a fumble, and my offense came to play as well, as you can see by the 14 to nothing lead. I try to run with Danny Woodhead. They get stuffed up by Keekley, who was 99 tackle. I try to roll back with Rivers, but very, very slow, so I do not get anything. Third and 23 now. He is injured. I have Charlie Whitehurst in, and I give it off to, I believe that's Floyd. Yeah, Michael, uh, Michael Floyd, who gets it to a manageable fourth and eight, and then I just... Throw it to Keenan Allen going on a slant route across the field. Beats the player off the line, and it's an easy first down for me. So, Danny Woodhead, I hand it off to him again. He gets minus two yards. Star Lutalele stuffs it up. So, I'm looking for the guy to get off the block, but Danny Woodhead refuses to get off the block, making it a third and 12. So, hoping to convert. I'm um, standing in the pocket, and I reroute Vincent Brown to a streak, and he is 
open and catches the ball and moves the chains again. This guy has not been able to stop me on defense. He's got me into long third and downs. He's got me into fourth downs, but he has not been able to capitalize and actually stop me. That is a big thing. You have to actually stop people. You can get people to third and fifties. You can get people to fourth and, you know, fifteens. But if you can't stop them right then and there, then you might as well just let them get a touchdown because you're not, nothing, you're not adjusting. You're not getting anything done on defense. And that's a big thing. You gotta keep making adjustments. Like, he sees me beating him with slants. He sees me beating him with out routes. And he doesn't change. He doesn't do anything to his defense. He doesn't be like, hey, you know, he's doing out routes. Maybe I should stop man to man. You know, maybe um, when I see Floyd on the, uh, on the right side, I should put up a purple or a light blue or double team him. And I don't see any adjustments. And because of that, that's why he is losing 21 to nothing. You gotta make adjustments or you're gonna lose. That's the bottom line. Every Madden commentator would tell you about adjustments, adjustments. And, you know, that's the downfall of this guy in this game. He doesn't change up his defense. And I just keep running my main three plays. And he just can't stop him. Uh, so that was my little uh, insightful comment right there. And there, uh, I believe Luke Kuechly was either on a spy or just a flat out yellow. And he gets a pick. But 21 nothing, and how I've stopped him on defense, I really... To be honest, I'm not threatened by his offense at all. Right there, I just used a tackle uh, Cam Newton. He had so much space to run. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, I just used a Donald Butler and get him myself. So, my uh, my defensive line really isn't getting much much pressure in. I have really slow guys. So, Cam Newton just decides to take off. Um, I'll let him have 10 yards, you know, waste the clock. This game's basically over. Right there, we do get a good sack. Um, Ga Gaithers or Gaithers. Get some nice uh, block shed, and we're able to get the sack. Third and 19, because he just missed that wide-open throw. Hopefully, I can stop him. And he tries that. That was the play in the beginning of the game where he got that third and 23. This time, he misses it. There, he tries to go to 11, which I believe is Brandon LaFell. And uh, Gil Chris is, evil, is able to intercept that and um, get me the ball back on offense. So, at his uh, about 15-yard line, run it with... Uh, the running back to get some nice, nice yards. Give it off to Woodhead again. Get a first down. First and goal now at his six. Uh, do another stretch play. Get it out to the outside. And Woodhead will take it to the house to go up 28 to nothing. Now, I know this isn't the most interesting gameplay, guys. But I just wanted to get an online gameplay out for you guys to see. Uh, you know, just to let you guys know, I am back on doing online. You'll be seeing Mutt and online, just to let you guys know. So, right here, I fast forward it to um, the end, uh, you know, he gets a touchdown, good for him, he will not be, he will not be um, goose egged or uh, shut out, so right here, I just fast forwarded to when he either quits out, yeah, he quits out right there, so thank you guys for watching, it's been Onus, and I hope to see you guys a lot more with some online gameplay, so, um, you know, have a nice, have a nice weekend, you guys, see you later.